Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of MarkRushtonGallery.com. It is Tuesday, March 14th. That's the middle of March already. March 14th, 2023. And uh, this was last night's video. I went through this book here. What a beautiful artwork in this portrait book. Very good book. I may go over it again, but not tonight. Tonight, um, I just want to work on an ink painting. Just, just work on an ink painting. Nothing fancy. If I could just find my tape. Where'd you put my tape? Here's some tape. This will work. Uh, yeah, a little late tonight. A little late tonight. I just, I've just been, I got sidetracked by some uh, state stuff. Oh, you think you, you think you got everything figured out. You think you got everything figured out. Oh, yeah. And then they send a letter in the mail. They threaten you subtly. They subtly threaten you. You need to do this, otherwise other things will happen. Okay. I sorry, I just wanted to start a business, that's all. Oh, you have to deal with those people. State, state of Iowa. I would not say that the state of Iowa is pro-business in any way, shape, or form. I don't, I don't know if any state is. Ugh. Kiefer's a little... On the... Uh, it needs to be shaken upside. Anyway, a little thirsty there. But earlier today, earlier today, I got my taxes done, personal taxes, had the corporates done a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And then the CPA did my um, uh, personal, because you have to do the corporate first, then you do the pers personal. And I, let me tell you, so this is the first year that I have been incorporated. Last, last year was the first year that I've been incorporated. It was the smartest thing. Smartest thing. And most of my, um, most of my uh, side business is not visual art. It's um, recordings. Because I've been a recording artist for over 20 years. If you go out to my website, uh, well, not Mark Rushton Gallery, but if you go to markrushton.com, you can see uh, all that sort of stuff. And, you know, trying to do something with the art, keeping me out of trouble somewhat. Anyway. I had been operating as a sole proprietor for the last several years here. I had a different CPA. And, uh, man, ooh, the taxes I paid. The taxes I paid. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. That was... Uh, then... One day I was listening to a podcast and uh, this guy had this CPA on and he was talking about the CPA was talking about how 
he uh, had suggested to the person on the that was doing the podcast that he had suggested uh, they knew each other it uh, suggested that uh, he think about incorporation because uh i guess at a certain point it makes sense to uh to do that sort of thing because then you're not double paying payroll taxes Social Security and Medicare are the payroll taxes. And so I, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I didn't know anything about that. But the way that he said it, the way that the CPA said it to this guy that was um, on the podcast, it wasn't that long. It was like 20 or 30 seconds. And uh, um. I remember thinking at the time, wait, that, that kind of sounds like me. Cause you know, I had a, had the day job and then I had, uh, my little side business as a recording artist. And, and this, this contributes as well. I've had some sales, but, um, let's let that seep. Let's let that soak in just a little bit here. Maybe I can bring this down a little bit here. And so anyway, I uh, <clears throat> I contacted the, uh, the CPA, paid for a consultation, sent him my uh, uh, tax returns and all that stuff. And, uh, it's kind of mess with the foreground here a little bit, a little bit of orange here, maybe. You kind of turn this into kind of a different things here so anyway what was my story here anyway he took a look at everything and he's like yeah I, you would benefit from uh you would benefit from uh incorporating your business and not act, not acting as a sole proprietor but becoming an llc and electing S corp status with the IRS, which I, I don't know anything about this stuff. Just like, okay, let's let's do it. So I took the deep dive and did that. And got a business account, and EIN, and uh, using ADP. ADP for my payroll <laughs> and then the absolute nightmare which was setting up um, uh, unemployment it's like, I'm the only employee what do you no you said you got to set up unemployment what do you mean I got to set up unemployment yeah you got to set up unemployment I have to pay pay the unemployment tax well I, I'm ne it's just me If I go, if I lose my, I can't lose my, I, oh, I got to pay that. What is that? Am I paying the Danigel? Or whatever that is. Is that what I'm doing? Exactly what am I getting for my money? That took forever. Setting that up. And even today I got a letter. Got a letter. I got li to Listen. I got a letter from the government the other day. I opened it and said, said they were suckers. They wanted me for the army or whatever. I picture me giving a damn. I said, never. <laughs> Contemplating a plan on the cell floor. All 
I'm running out of the the ink here. Hope not. Get some more. Ooh, look at that. Anyway, so I had to do all that. That was a huge learning experience. Huge learning experience. No wonder artists are such terrible business people. <laughs> Compliance and, oh my God, it's hard enough getting me to. Hard enough getting me to. care about what they have to say. I don't know. What do I know? All I know is that um, um, it was the right move for me. I'm really glad I uh, I'm really glad I uh, incorporated. I know it sounds just dreadfully boring. Oh, wow, you incorporated. That's good. That's good. Good for you. Anyway, after having my taxes done, it's just like, yeah, that was that was the right move. That was good. I don't know. I don't know what to say. What do I know about that? Nothing. Let's throw a little uh, red in here. What's that going to do? What is that going to do? It's going to make it redder. Now if we throw a little more green in there, what's going to happen? What do you think? Probably nothing. We just smearage. I kind of liked it a little bit more red. Maybe up here? Do that. Anyway, incorporating, uh, it, it saved me a lot. Saved me a lot on the uh, payroll taxes. Double paying, double paying of the payroll taxes. Saved me. And I don't know how much. We didn't exactly do a model on it, but it was uh, it's a good move. Good move. Glad I listened to that podcast. You know glad I decided to, you know, take it a little initiative and do a consultation. You know, professional people. Just gonna listen to them. People with lots of experience in that sort of thing. What do I know about setting up a business? Nothing. When I was a sole proprietor, I just, you know, the previous CPA, you know, she told me to pay this much every quarter to the tax man, and I did. I'm kind of curious at what point would it have made sense in the past for me to incorporate it? Probably a year or two ago. But better late than never. Better late than never. I'm uh, glad I did. Yeah, I know it's not. 
not exciting. Not exciting. It's not what people want to hear. They want to hear negativity and craziness and whatever. That's fine. No one, no one, nobody wants to hear. Oh, you know what? I incorporated, and I saved a lot of my taxes. No one wants to hear that. It worked for me. Worked for me, guys. Worked for me. That's nice. That's good. That's a nice uh, sort of evening sky, and sort of a red earth. Kind of playing around with the colors down here a little bit more. Interesting horizon line here with the dark brown and sort of the green that's snuck in there. So I'll let this dry, let this dry overnight and uh, um, maybe do another one tomorrow here. I kind of got away from this and, you know, let's get back to it. Let's just keep kind of keep working this. It's kind of fun. I gotta order some stuff. I keep forgetting to order stuff every day. It just keeps going down the road. You know what I mean? Every day it just keeps going down the road. What do we got here? There we go. I need, I need to work on some portraits too. Not just of me. Maybe of other things. I don't know. I gotta get back to this lo-fi printing thing. You know what else I need to do? I need to buy a dye sublimation printer and a heat press. That's what I need to do. That would be kind of fun. I want to sublimate onto uh, metal, and um, I guess it would have to be polyester clothing. You put put my image, put my image on a, on a shit. Be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Color. I put this on a shirt, right? Or a piece of metal. Sublimate the metal. Eh, it's time to do that. It's time to do that. I got like, a little bit of a tax refund. I'm going to get a little bit of a tax refund. You know what? I it in the dye sublimation printers aren't that much. They're like four hundred dollars. Heat press is two, three, four hundred dollars, something like that. I. Take a little bit of the money that's coming back and plow it back in. And just try to make other things with it. It'd be kind of fun. I I'd kind of be interested in making, you know, custom clothing and uh, metal wall art. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm just talking out loud right now. Got to order it first. Got to order. Got to have time to set everything up. That'll be the time in which I get like a, another day job. I get that. I'm rambling here. I'm a mess. 11 o'clock. Time to get some sleep. Thanks for showing up, hanging out. Talk to you tomorrow.